So one of the things you often hear with home 3D printing is that you can only print plastic parts, or that the parts aren't that strong, or that things are going to break. In fact, people have said that in the comments below. I think that's going to break. In, in general, there's a lot of things in re real life that are plastic. I mean, everything from television remote, cell phones, car interiors, lots of things are plastic. Let's get that out of the way. So it doesn't have to be made of metal to be strong. Everyday use plastic parts, let's be honest, they're not being printed in PLA. A lot of them are ABS, and ABS has its drawbacks for 3D printing. It does tend to warp, uh, it is pretty smelly, and there may be some side effects from breathing it in long term. ABS is a starter industrial plastic for 3D printing. But the holy grail, that is nylon. And that's what I want to start printing. I've got some parts planned, things I might want to try selling, things that I don't want to break, things I want to be very sturdy. And nylon is pretty much the holy grail, unless you're talking like, like serious industrial grade stuff like Ultim. Ultim is probably the highest grade, but it's extremely expensive and extremely complicated to 3D print with on a home 3D printer. So nylon is about as good as it's gonna get. Many of you probably watch Tom's videos, Philoween series where he shows different materials, how strong they are and how temperature resistant they are. Nylon is by far one of the highest performing materials that he has tested. In general, nylon is used a lot in industrial plastic parts. How do you print nylon? First step is you're gonna need a box like this with some various other things with it. The key to this box though is this seal right there. That seal is what's going to help us print nylon. Now the big thing with nylon is it's extremely hydroscopic. What does that mean? It absorbs water and if it absorbs water when you're extruding at 250 degrees C roughly but around those temperatures we're well above the boiling point of water and the problem with that is is that as you're printing as you're extruding it at 250 C what is that like five six hundred degrees Fahrenheit almost any water that absorbed into the filament is obviously going to boil off its vapor and it's going to cause hissing popping drooling in the nozzle all kinds of undesirable artifacts in your print so we've got to keep it dry a lot of filament manufacturers that produce nylon they recommend using a dry box they also recommend using some form of desiccant to keep it dry. This here is an Eva Dry. I use them a lot. I use them inside the actual enclosure for the 3D printer. All my filament is stored with these guys. They're quite affordable. Um, and the neat thing is they're easily rechargeable by plugging them into the wall. Uh, they then have an internal heating element heats up and boils off all the water. And then you can continue using these then obviously to keep your filament dry. Next, how are we gonna get the filament out of here and how are we gonna stand this thing up? I've got a variety of things I've, I've purchased here and I'm going to show a quick video of assembly. This is just a tiny little bit of ABS, but basically for form and fit. So this is a Maker Gear M2 spool holder, mounts to the side of the frame. It's available on their website. I'll have a link in the description. Yeah, I think it's a real simple spool holder. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. More importantly is it fits very nicely inside there. You could design your own, but this was quick and easy. Prints nicely. Next, uh, we need a way to get past the filament out of this and get it to the printer. There's this very nice model I found on Thingiverse. Basically a little pass-through. On one side it's got kind of a simple little filament guide with some holes and a nice surface for like a gasket almost. The other side then has a hole that looks like it is designed and there are links on the Thingiverse page for this. Uh, it's got a, a little o-ring and this is a push to connect fitting typically used for like airlines and things so this seals up very well at even very high pressures. Thread this in there, drill some holes, mount this here, mount the guide inside of here, mount the spool holder, seal everything up and it's going to have a slight lean to it for now. Uh, in the industrial cabinet that my 3D printer sits in, the industrial computer cabinet, that's not going to be a problem because the side of it is open and it'll actually just kind of sit in a little groove. If I get some spare time, I probably will design a very simple little mount for the bottom of this to keep it upright no matter where it's at uh, because I have ordered a new 3D printer and it will not go be mounted in an industrial cabinet like that. In fact, I'm probably going to do a video on that as well, so look forward to making of a very nice functional enclosure workbench 3D printing kind of 
print farm setup type idea. So anyhow, without a whole lot more explanation, finally the last thing you need is some tubing. This also came from McMaster car. Uh, this will get, it's black so it's kind of hard to see, but it'll lead from the box and this push to connect fitting and these things are super cool. You just push them in and now it's locked. In fact, that'll probably hold a couple hundred PSI air, whatever that's rated to. And there's a lot here, probably more than I need, but uh, this will get it to the printer. When I'm not printing, I bought this little cap from McMaster as well. And the cool thing is it just slips right over the end and seals everything up. There should be room for the Evadry to go in there with the filament. Links are in the description below for all of the items purchased here. Look for some better de description on the Safety Glasses Required website and blog page and uh, enjoy the uh, assembly video commencing So slight problem, apparently whatever this is made out of is a little brittle and it cracked when I was drilling one of the holes. Maybe not the best choice in materials for this. How I was drilling it was not ideal. Plastic bits I know can, intended to drill into acrylic will be a lot better. Maybe even drilling sometimes I've heard in reverse can help so you don't crack plastic. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make a little reinforcement panel out of aluminum transfer that pattern over to it, apply a little RTV gasket maker to it along the whole backside here, and that should seal it up and reinforce it. We'll see how the rest of it goes here. In general, I'm okay. I'm fairly happy with what I'm seeing so far. Kind of wish there was a little more room for the Evadry in there, but it should fit with a full spool. This is a larger spool than a lot of the nylon comes on. Anyway, this is a full uh, one kilogram or 2.2 pound spool of uh, ABS. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna continue here. This one got out of hand a little bit. It's supposed to be a simple quick project and it turned into being a little bit of a mess. I think it's still going to work. Uh, I may revisit it though. At any rate, between cracked plastic and not having uh, the right pipe tap fittings, I didn't realize how difficult this was going to be. This is apparently a British pipe thread fitting and I just thought I could just like force it in like a self tapping screw into the ABS plastic, but ABS proved tougher than I thought it was going to be and the hole was just a little bit too small. I didn't design it so uh, I think the guy who designed it obviously maybe had a British pipe thread tap and could just start that and then uh, work it in from there. I think it's going to work. It was obviously a little bit more of a battle. Got to, had to add this little thing. I know it's not straight um, but this should help reinforce it and cover that crack up. If you have any su better suggestions for these containers let me know. Uh, this in general is a pretty good size and I was pretty happy with the sizing of it and how it was going to package in there pretty well. I liked it has these snaps and that they're positive and then it's got, obviously got the seal inside of it. Everything about it I thought would fit pretty well in my little cabinet. And then I found these fittings obviously and everything uh, on Thingiverse. They printed out pretty nicely. Uh, obviously I need to fit this tubing on there but I need to kind of do that in the printer and the printer's not in this garage. Off to the next adventure of trying to print nylon. Should be fun. Consider subscribing.